Grab your favorite drink, coffee, tea, a glass of wine, and let's get started. Today we're going to be covering the Nordstrom anniversary sale, my recommendations, what's in my cart, what I plan on purchasing, gift ideas for Christmas, all the things. So buckle up and let's go. Welcome or welcome back. I'm thrilled that you're here. Today we're going to be covering all things Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. Now, if you're not familiar, I used to work for Nordstrom as a manager and I'm very familiar with how the sale works. I'm very familiar with tips and tricks on getting what you want before it sells out. So I will be sprinkling those into all that we're talking about today. So hang on till the end because there's just a lot of information coming your way. Now, I want to say this. I will be making recommendations in different categories and I know that not everybody that watches my videos is petite. I am. I'm five feet tall and so most of the time I am making recommendations on pretty much petite items or petite friendly items. Not so much today. I will let you know which items are available in petite, but we're going to cover just the whole gamut of a bunch of different areas in all sizes today, starting with women's shoes. So one of the first things that caught my eye is, of course, the boots. They're beautiful. These two that I'm showing you here are both knee-high boots. One is with the block heel, which is going to be a little bit easier to walk in, and the other one is with a regular heel both darling. Both of the heels on here are not over the top too high, so I think that they would be okay, even for me, to walk in. Now, I'm always looking for a good neutral flat for the fall, and there are several that I'm gonna show you today. The two that you're seeing here, I love the pointed toe on this neutral suede one, so pretty. And then we are gonna see, looking at the loafer here with the chain on top, with the sort of the chunky loafer, sort of the platform loafer, that is gonna be everywhere. That is so on trend. And so I've just pulled a few different styles to show you that I really like. I've also made sure that I pull different price points of this very popular trend to share with you today. Moving on to the athletic shoes that you see in this specific graphic. So there's two that are from OnCloud. It's my goal to purchase an, an OnCloud sneaker this go round. I don't really have a good athletic sneaker and so I have been wanting one. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to get the running shoe, the cross training shoe, or I don't even know. There's a third one that I have in there. But I am going to be purchasing one of these for sure. I've heard that they're so comfortable and it's really, really something that I want. I went ahead and added a white sneaker because I think we all need a, just a solid white sneaker in our wardrobe and getting it at 40% off is just a great time to pick one up. I've had several of you tell me that you plan on traveling while it's cold, for instance, December, January to resort places and so you wanted sandals and whatnot. So I wanted to make sure that I share with you some of my favorites here. There is this sandal that I'm showing with that really cushiony footbed. So that would be a great one to pick up as well. The booty that I'm showing you here is so cute, so on trend, and there's just, there's so many good ones. This this black booty with the little, little cute kind of chunky little heel with the pointed toe darling. I'm loving all of these shoes. I would purchase and wear any and all of them. So cute. Let's move on to the next graphic. Here we have some more shoes now. I wanted to also make sure I incorporated the sandal with an open toe. I love that style. And the one that I'm featuring in this graphic also comes in the color nude, which I am thinking I might need. So I'm showing you several other booty styles with a little heel. If you do not already have a neutral booty in your wardrobe, this is a wonderful time to add that. Now, black is a great color. Nude is a great color. Brown is a great color. This cognac color that you're seeing at the top with the pointed toe is just so exquisite. It's so beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on this one or not, but it is in my cart right now, so or on my wish list rather. Now, several of these booties that I'm showing you, like the Chelsea style booties, are 
waterproof and I will make sure that when I list all of these in the description box that I make sure that I note which ones are waterproof because I know that makes a huge difference. Again, we are seeing the chunky platform loafers, so on trend, lots of different styles and the strappy sandals that you see at the pink at the bottom, those also come in a nude color. Very, very cute. The last graphic that we have about women's shoes is this one and I will tell you the one that you see with the black toe and then the tan, the rest of it is tan. I want that shoe so bad. I have it in my wish list already because I'm really thinking that it would be so cute with black pants, with jeans, with faded jeans, dark wash jeans. So, so cute and just one of those, like I intend to wear this as I would my neutral loafers that I bought last year. So cute. I also have in here another sandal for you to choose from, another suede booty, that Chelsea style booty, and then I have in here two different style hunter boots. It's always great. You need to own one pair of rain boots. Like you just have to have that. And I am not a fan of the ones that come all the way up to the knee because I think that they are hard to get on and off, especially when they're wet. And so I love this shorter style here that I have featured, but again, there's just so many cute styles to choose from. Happy shopping on the shoes. <laughs> Moving on to coats and jackets. So I will up front tell you that I do not plan on purchasing any of the coats or jackets this year. I love them. I think that they are beautiful and I do have recommendations for you, but none of these are offered in petite sizes and I do not want to invest in a coat and then have to have it altered. The sleeves will all be too long for me and the length might hit me at a weird place. So I am personally going to pass on all of these, but I wanted to make sure that I shared them with you because they really do have some beautiful options. So let's get started. So the trench coat that you're seeing is just so, so cute. I love it. And having a camel or a neutral coat in your wardrobe is one of those staple pieces that I think we all need to have. Now, one of the fun things that I'm seeing this year with coats and jackets is that pop of color. I love this Barbie pink that you're seeing. So cute, very elegant. And then the pea coat that's the, the hip length that's double breasted. I just think that that is so elegant, so beautiful. If you do not have a coat like one of these, now is a fabulous time to pick them up at 40% off. And just a reminder too, the Nordstrom anniversary sale is when they bring in brand new fall items at a reduced price, 40% off. And then once the sale is over, they mark the items back up to full price. So now is the time to grab them. Staying in the coat slash blazer slash jacket category, I wanted to show you, I have in this graphic three different leather style blazers. I personally love all of them. I think that they are beautiful, but there are three different styles for a reason. I wanted you to have options and different price points. They range from very high to very middle of the road so they and also in the style so the one that you're seeing on the top row that one is more of a boxy fit if that is what you prefer and then the other two options are more of a tailored fit now again I would personally I would love to purchase these but they are not offered in petites and so I'm going to pass on these styles now the blazer I love this one that you're seeing on the bottom row with the poofy sleeve that is so 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 cute I love it it, it's it's a great find if you're not petite, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy it and have it altered. Now I will show you one of these is not petite, but it is petite friendly in that the sleeves are shorter. You see the top row that blazer style has a three quarter length, or I think they're calling it the bracelet length sleeve, but that would work for petite. So that is that's a good one too. So keep that in mind. And the bottom one that you're seeing where the sleeves are pushed up, this one is a house brand of Nordstrom. And so the price points are a little bit more friendly. They're a little bit lower. And I love this brand. It's, I believe it's Castellon or Treasure. No, it's Castellon. It is. Or Halogen. One or the other. Both are house brands of Nordstrom. Excellent quality, great price points. And that one is 
that you're seeing with the sleeves pushed up is a knit blazer. So, so cute. And it does come in other colors as well. Last graphic of coats and jackets. So let's talk about this puffer coat, the black one. It is so elegant and chic. Most of the time when I see puffer coats, there's no silhouette to them. They're just boxy and just kind of plain Jane. But there, this one is just sort of like next level. It is, it has a little bit of a silhouette to it. I love everything about it. It is not offered in petite sizes, but this is one of those coats that if you are traveling or if you live somewhere really cold, this is a great option. I'll tell you that when we went to New York a few years ago, I bought a puffer coat just for that trip specifically and I bought it in a bright color because it was pretty but I stuck out like a sore thumb in New York with a bright puffer coat. If I had it to do over again and I were traveling to New York I wouldn't want to look like a tourist and so I would I would choose black over the bright color. So if you have, if you don't want to stick out like a tourist and you're traveling someplace like New York, consider a black puffer jacket like this. Now, these shirt jackets that you're seeing are so cute. I love them. That sort of um, light green one that you're seeing at the top, so cute. And then the plaid below it, love it. And then that little blazer at the top that's sort of the multicolor. I love this. I think it is so cute. It would go with so many things. Highly recommend that. It would be a great addition to anybody's wardrobe. And then at the bottom, I put just moto jacket options. I personally own a few moto jackets right now, so I'm not in the I don't need one to add to my wardrobe, but if you don't own a moto jacket and you want to kind of jump into that trend, it's a great time to pick one up at 40% off. Before we move on to the next category, I wanna just tell you that I will have everything that I am mentioning in the description box below, as well as pinned to the top comment for you to refer back to. Now, when you go to these items and you see them on the Nordstrom website, you can put them in your cart and you can then buy them when it's time for you to shop. If you're not familiar with how all this works, so Nordstrom opens up their anniversary sale in tiers. And so it first opens opens up to card holders and then it opens up to the public. So when it opens up to card holders, there's three different statuses or tiers, if you will. There's an icon status, there's, I forget what the second one is, and then there's an influencer status. And these are based on how much you spend at Nordstrom per year. And I get that. It's sort of, you know, just honoring the people that spend a lot more money at Nordstrom. You know, it's frustrating because I don't, I'm not in the first category, I'm in the third category. And so I kind of get frustrated like, well, dang, you know, I wish I could shop the top category, but I do get it. I get that they're honoring their customers that spend the most money with them and that's totally fine. So I say all that to say, whenever it's your time to start shopping, then you can go, you can move these items from a wish list into your cart and hit purchase. On that note, let me just say as well, two tips. So the first one would be whenever it is your turn to start shopping, if you will, I would, they, the items become available for you to purchase at 12.01 that day in the morning. And I am one of those weirdos that I'm going to set my alarm and I'm going to get up at 12.01 and I am going to purchase the things that are on my wish list. I'm gonna move them straight from wish list to cart and purchase at 12.01. And the reason I'm doing that is because things sell out so fast. And so the first opportunity that I get to purchase in my tier, I'm gonna get it as quickly as possible. Second tip on that note. So Nordstrom has a uh, free shipping and returns, which is so wonderful. But I think I might go ahead and I would advise if you want to, to go ahead and pay for two day shipping. It's $12. The reason I say this is because they sell out items so fast, the way that Nordstrom processes online orders is orders that need to go out first, like the two day shipping are going to be processed first. So if you have the free shipping and it doesn't have to be sent out till 
over here, they're going to wait and process this later. So the chances of you and I getting the items that we want first are going to be better if we click two day shipping and pay that 12 extra dollars because I don't know, to me, it's just worth it. It's just worth it. So I, that's what I plan on doing. I'm a weirdo, but I'm just letting you know my shopping plan. This is a fun category. Let's talk about dresses. So again, let me just echo, none of the styles that I'm going to show you are available in petite sizes. However, there are some that look petite friendly. So I wanted to show you those as well and tell you which ones I have on my radar. So this first graphic, they're so cute. Let me just tell you that chambray is very much on trend this year. So if you don't have a chambray dress or top, this is a great time to add one to your wardrobe. I think both of these chambray dresses that you're seeing are darling. Again, two different silhouettes. One is a, is a boxier sort of fit. The other one comes in at the waist. And looking at the length of that one, the one that comes in, on the model, it looks a little short to me, which think, makes me think I might could get away with this dress. I would probably have to roll the sleeves up and I'm okay with that. So there's that. Then, oh gosh, look at the top, the one with the buttons down the front, very Chanel-esque, very much Chanel vibes. This one looks short enough to where I could probably wear it and it would hit me right above the knee. Darling, just darling. Okay, the dress next to that one, the black one, with the, with the ruching that sort of comes up like this. This one comes in two different colors. I love this dress. I think it's darling. Looking at where it hits on her, like right below the knee, I'm thinking that the length would be at a weirdo length on me. I think that ruching at the, at the waist and then it would... I don't know, I feel like it would probably hit at a midi length on me, so I'm gonna pass on that as much as I hate that because I think it's darling, but not for me. The the faux leather dress that you're seeing on the bottom, the black dress that's sleeveless, so, so cute. That definitely would work for a petite because I'm seeing a very short length on her and I don't wear my dresses that short, so it's just a trigger, oh, okay, it'll come down longer on me and it will work. So the other two, just very pretty, wanted to add those in, darling, darling selections. All right, let's move on to another graphic with dresses. So the sleeveless one, well, the two sleeveless that you see at the top are so cute. The one that's in the middle, the plaid, I have in my wish list ready to purchase. I think this is so cute. It's a knit dress and Again, based on the length that I'm seeing on the model, I think it would hit me at a perfect length. I could wear this with a turtleneck underneath. I could wear it with a white button down underneath. I could wear this with boots. I could wear it with booties. I, it's just so, so, so cute. I think it's darling. And so I hope it does not sell out before I can get my hands on it. The little tennis dress that you're seeing on the top row is from Spanx. And I do, I have already ordered that. Spanx is gonna send that to me uh, so that I can share it with you. And so I will be sharing that with you in the next few days. This, I'm not sure if this is leather or faux leather dress in the brown color. How cute is that dress? Oh my gosh, just darling. Love, love, love that dress. Then the one that has the cow neck, the bottom row and the center long sleeves, that just looks like the epitome of comfort. How cute is that? Pair it with a pair of sneakers or dress it up with a pair of boots. Just so cute. All right, the tops for women category. I have this white one that you're seeing with the ruffle top. That is by Witten Wisdom, which again is a Nordstrom house brand. Excellent quality. I'll tell you what, I have this in an extra small and it runs big. So it's a boxy fit and then it runs big on top of that. So just keep that in mind if that is a top that you want. I will be wearing that one on repeat. Wanted to show you this chambray top because it is just, again, if you don't have one in your wardrobe, it's one of those basics that you will wear year after year. The black sweater that you are seeing with the cow neck, I have that in my wish list right now, ready to purchase in a camel color. I love it, I think it's darling. I did throw in this concert tee, this Def Leppard tee, a rock band tee, whatever, because I know a lot of you love t-shirts like that. I'm not a 
rock band t-shirt girl. Not my style, not my thing. I think it's darling on other people, just not for me. Um, so, but what is for me, what is on my wish list on the bottom row is this sleeveless um, sweater that you sweater vest sort of, if you will. I love this so much. I love the colors on this. Now, this is from the brand BP, which is more of a junior cut. And so it does come, I think, in extra, extra small, extra small, medium, da, 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 da. I think I, I'll have to look. I'll let you know. I think I have this in a medium in my cart, in my wish list, because I don't want it tight. And the way that I plan on styling this is with a white button down blouse underneath it with the collar out with the tail out with a pair of jeans and either loafers or the chunky platform loafers that we're seeing i think that would be such a cute look for fall and so i don't want it as fitted as you're seeing it on the model i want it loose more loose than that and then okay how cute is this pink button down so darling, so cute. And then I wanted to show you the Castellon tees. Okay, see the on the bottom, the sort of um, rounded neck V? This is a great time to pick up your basics. You hear me saying that on repeat over and over and over, but the, I wanna say that these t-shirts are $12. So it's just a great time to stock up. They have them in all different colors. The only color that I would tell you to avoid picking up in this tee is white because it is rather thin and I think that you can see through it. So I would stay away from white, but feel free to pick them up in any other colors. The V-neck that you're seeing is, I want to say that one's by Madewell. Again, great time to pick up your basic tees. I personally find a v-neck the most flattering style tee. Rarely will you see me in a crew neck. Uh, I just think that it's just more flattering to wear a v-neck tee. And so this is a great opportunity to pick up those basics and add them to your wardrobe. I had to have one graphic for men, okay? So this is the one that I wanted to share with you. And I'll be honest, when I selected these items to share with you as a recommendation, I'm just thinking about the guys in my life and what they would wear. So my husband is retired and then I have young adult men, children. So this is the style that they would wear. So I don't really have like a suit guy in my life or anything like that. So I wanted to show you the looks that they would love. So my boys would love that sort of zip up half zip top that you're seeing and then the pullovers and then the light plaid they would love all of these and then the t-shirts the jacket this is just all items that i know i could pick up for them for a gift and they would love them so i will have all of these linked below as well loungewear all right so here i've added the barefoot dream socks I don't know anyone in the world that does not like the Barefoot Dream Socks. This is a great item to pick up in multiples because it's something that you can have in your present closet. Like you can just pull out and add it to a gift. It can be a stocking stuffer. Women of all ages love the Barefoot Dream Socks. It's a great, great option. And then there is the little kit with the socks and the hair scrunchie and the eye. It's such a fun, perfect gift to give a woman of any age. And then I do have in here some pajamas. All right, the short set that you're seeing, those are so cute. I have that on my wish list in, they come in several other colors and the, the color that I chose in this one is the pink and white stripe, so cute. And then I do have some Zella joggers in here to show you. Those are on the bottom, the blue Zella joggers. Zella is another house brand of Nordstrom. Such good quality and such good price points. And when it's on sale in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, even better. So that's very cool. Then we've got the Barefoot Dream set. This is just gonna be so comfortable. And now again, let me just say, I'm not ordering this for me because it's not offered in petites and it would just swallow me and be way too long. All the sleeves would be too long, the pants would be too long, but 
It's a great thing to pick up as a gift to a mother, a mother-in-law, a daughter, daughter-in-law, somebody, you know, and then this robe. How beautiful is this robe? So, so pretty. Pants and jeans. So I'm a firm believer in the Nordstrom anniversary sale is a great time to freshen up your jeans and your pants. You can get them at any price point. You can get them lower, or you can get them, you can invest in the designer jeans. I personally don't own any designer jeans. I know Mother is very popular. I know AG is very popular. I personally don't own either one of those, but if you are into designer jeans, it's a great time to pick them up at 40% off. Why wouldn't you? I tend to wear more, or purchase more middle of the road priced jeans. One of my favorite brands is Wit & Wisdom and you are gonna see a lot of the Wit & Wisdom styles from me here featured so first you're gonna see the itty bitty boot cut that for me was a top seller last year it's one of my favorite pair of jeans now most of the jeans that I'm sharing with you are offered in petites let me let me say that but the itty bitty boot cut is the one where it's a slimmer leg and it just sort of barely flares out at the bottom and it just makes you look so tall so lean so slender it's been a favorite of mine for years so it's a great time to stock up but what I wanted to point out what I want you to see as far as style goes is the slim straight leg style so the kick flare crop is very cute. The kick flare is cute. The itty bitty boot cut is elegant. The flare is elegant. The slim straight style is one of those. It's just sort of, sort of replacing the skinny jean that was popular forever. So skinnies aren't 100% out the door at all, but what you're seeing as like the go-to jean now is that slim straight leg that you're seeing in all of these graphics that I'm showing you. And I love that we have a variety of links to choose from. You've got the girlfriend jean where it's cuffed, you've got the ankle jean, you've got the ones that go all the way down. So just a wide variety. Now let me see this too as I'm thinking about it. The Wit & Wisdom jeans that I love that most of these are, do run big. So whatever your normal size is, size down one in order for them to fit you correctly. Okay, let's move on to another graphic with pants and jeans. All right, so let me just tell you, these, the faux suede jeggings or leggings, I'm sorry, that you see on the top row in that cognac color are by Spanx and they, I own those. They are fabulous, they feel like butter, so, so cute. You could wear them. Now, the model is showing them with the chunky platform loafers. You could do that. You could do boots. You could do a heel with it. It's just so, so beautiful with like, an, oh, like a tunic style sweater. It's just so, so good. All right. Then we have, oh, also featured on the bottom row, you're going to see the Spanx faux leather leggings. Again, this is one of those things that it's just, it should be in your wardrobe, just a staple piece if you're comfortable wearing faux leather leggings. Some people aren't and that's okay, but if you are, these Spanx leggings never, ever, ever go on sale except for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So, and they do come in petite and I would scoop them up if you can. So, and let me say this too, if by chance Nordstrom runs out of the size that you need in the Spanx, pieces that they're featuring for the sale. Spanx.com is honoring the Nordstrom anniversary sale price while the sale is going on. So keep that in mind. If you do not see your size, you can always go over to Nordstrom, I mean, start, sorry, Spanx.com and they will honor the Nordstrom price. Keep that in mind. Now, okay, for the faux leather leggings, I have mine in a petite small and they fit perfect. Again, like I tell you with every Spanx bottom practically, you have to do the shank shimmy to get them on because they are snug. But once they're, once they're on, they fit really good. Let's see, what else did I wanna point out? Oh, I wanted to tell you about these. Okay, you see the bottom row? That pair of pants that is right by the faux leather leggings. That is a Wit & Wisdom dress pant. I own that one. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful pair of dress pants for the fall. So I will have all of these linked. If you have questions about them, please feel free to ask in the comments below.
Let's talk beauty. So the first thing I want to tell you is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant 3-pack that you're seeing in the graphic is one that I purchase every year. That is my favorite deodorant. First of all, it works and I love the smell. Now, it is a little pricey, but when I can pick up a three pack of it at a discounted price, you better believe I will. So, so good. Now, the Tom Ford kit that you're seeing is a little spendy, a little splurgy, but I wanted to put that in there because if you have a beauty lover on your Christmas list, this is a no-brainer. They will love that. It's a great one to pick up. I wanted to also show you the L'Occitane that is right below the Tom Ford kit that you're seeing. The L'Occitane shower gel in almond, it scents like heaven. I keep that in my shower. And this one comes with a refillable thing. This is so good. And look, it's a shower cleanser that you put on and it feels like oil. Like it's just so, so silky smooth. But when the water hits it, it emulsifies to cleanse and it doesn't leave the bottom of your shower slick like that you would fall or anything. So this is a fabulous gift to give somebody or just to treat yourself because I, it's just an absolute favorite. I'm not gonna go over every single one of these items because this video is getting a little bit long, but I do have in here two self tanners that I absolutely love. They are so good. A makeup mirror, that's really, really a great one to travel with. The divide, the facial device that you, it's like the new face for um, anti-aging like wrinkles and stuff. I have this and it is great. Let me just say about any facial device that you use like that with the microcurrents, it's great to own, it's great to gift, it doesn't work. Yes, indeed it does. If, hear me, hear me, hear me, if you use it consistently, it will not work if you do not use it consistently. So many people say, is it worth the investment? Should I buy it? If you're going to be faithful and use it the way it's supposed to be used, yes. If you're not, no, it's not. Okay, living proof hair care in here, just because I, it's one of a favorite of mine. The uh, L'Occitane hand lotion is a favorite. The Elemis cleansing balm that removes removes your makeup remover, so so good. A few more beauty items to share with you. So Aveda is just the best. I love their all of their hair products. So I have those two listed here. Wanted to mention I have two different sets of setting sprays to share with you. One is a Bobbi Brown and the other one is Charlotte Tilbury. Both I've heard are very good. I personally have not used either one of them, but I've heard great things it, and they come in two packs. So if that interests you, great. The NARS blush comes in a two pack. Now, I hate this name. Can I just be real for a minute? I love the color of this blush, love. The name of the color is Orgasm. I don't know why, but if you like that color, now's the time to swoop it up because it is on sale and it's a two pack. I love that color. I just, I don't get it. I don't, maybe I'm old and I don't get, I don't get it. So there's that, the um, Hourglass little palette that you see on the bottom has the highlighter, the blush and the bronzer. I do not own that, but I've wanted to for years. So that is another great one. Uh, one thing that is in my cart right now is the Charlotte Tilbury lip combo that you see, the pillow talk that comes with the lipstick, the liner, and the gloss. That is, to me, the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk is the perfect pinky nude. Like you can find others that are, you know, that's pretty, that'll work. This is a little bit less expensive, but nothing. This is the just the original, best pinky nude ever in my opinion in my humble opinion and then i have let's see more living proof here oh wanted to mention real quick the westman atelier sticks that you see here i do own the westman atelier contour stick love it love it so i haven't tried the highlighter stick that we're seeing in here in this combo pack but I would imagine that it is very good. If I love the contour, I'm sure I would love the highlight. And this is, again, a great stocking stuffer, great gift to give that beauty lover, or something to just kind of give yourself a little gift too. And with that, let's move on to accessories.
I do have a few accessories to show you. First one I want to say is the belt that you're seeing at the very top. That is a fry belt in that color brown. That is just a across the board, perfect, great, basic belt. If you do not own just that basic, perfect, good quality belt, this is the one for you. So I'm adding in there some cubic zirconia, two pair of cubic zirconia earrings. I have the ones that do not have the halo around them. Love them. I might get the ones with the halo around them. They're cute. And then there are other items in here. Oh, the one that looks like a little kit, the, the black case at the bottom, that is a accessory jewelry travel kit. And it's very reasonably priced. So had to throw that in there. I do have two really spendy, spendy items on here, the two rings that you see at the bottom. Had to throw them in because they're beautiful, and if you are in the market for some beautiful jewelry, hello, it is just stunning. I had to show you that. So another, I hope you're still with me. This is the last category, I promise. Handbags, let's move on to handbags. Okay, so there are two that I saw that are just like the, the perfect little neutral bag that will go with everything, like the style is just very classic and it's the two with two that you see on the top the black and these come in other colors as well but that is just like a staple leather bag great quality will last for a year it's kind of bad okay so the one that we see that uh, longer crossbody the small the smaller one the brown that one is free people that one is really cute real trendy real fun i think this would be for well i'd love to own it but I know that a younger person would probably really love to own it. Like a college age person, it would be a great gift. Then tote bags, if you are in the market for totes, I have two here for you to choose from. I love that that one in the middle row has that guitar strap option, so cute. Then I wanted to just point out, in the middle row, the uh, Rebecca Minkoff, like the Chevron style bag that you're seeing. Rebecca Minkoff has great quality products, great. And I want to just point this one out because it's very similar. I don't know. I don't want to call it a dupe, but it's very similar in style to YSL. YSL has a bag that is it has that chevron look. It has the top handle. It has the crossbody. It, it's just very, very similar with, but this is a fraction of the price of the YSL bag. So if you wanted that look, but maybe didn't want that price point, this is a great option to pick that up. I did throw one extra bougie, extra spendy bag in there, and that is the bottom one, I mean the bottom row, the pink in the middle. That one is, it's just cool. You know, it's just cool. There are knockoffs all over Amazon that are, you know, $15, $20, $30, but this is the original, this is the expensive one, and, on sale in the Nordstrom anniversary sales so wanted to point that all right we're done thank you so much for spending a chunk of your day with me today I appreciate it and I know that we covered a lot but there are over 6,000 items in the anniversary sale so I just wanted to pull what I loved what I thought you might like what might be some great recommendations and if you're not already subscribed I invite you to tap that subscribe button so that you can keep up with videos that I put out every week and if you're not following me over on Instagram I invite you to do that my handle over there is poised petite and that is where you'll get the updates for me from me about restocks as they are restocking items for the sale or as items sell out. I can let you know that so you can readjust your thinking. So that is the place where I can give you at the minute shopping tips, tricks, updates, restock alerts, and all the things. So I invite you to follow me over there. Thank you for being with me today. Have a great day and I will see you next week.